Good day everyone, Happy New Year's Eve and welcome back to SCP Illustrated in the second instalment of SCP Summarised, looking at SCPs 100 to 199. As always, please be aware that this video is going to contain implied violence and sensitive subjects. And without further ado, let's begin. The following data release has been authorised by the following council members and administration staff. SCP-100 Jamaican Joe's Junkyard Jubilee A scrapyard with a sentient humanoid constructed out of scrap metal who will construct other sentient creatures with various pieces of scrap metal. Once a creation passes the boundaries of the scrapyard, it will lose sentience and animation until it is reintegrated into the scrapyard confines. SCP-101 Hungry Bag A handbag with a mouth inside it. The mouth's dimensions exceed that of the bag itself and it is believed that the mouth is connected to a part of a larger entity of extra-dimensional origin. The mouth will consume anything that is put into it. It is currently being used for the disposal of hazardous wastes and byproducts of other SCP-related projects. SCP-102 Property of Marshall, Carter and Dark Limited Two buildings When a non-leaseholder enters one they will see a decrepit building. When a current leaseholder enters one, they will see a well-furnished and upkept building. If a leaseholder attempts to leave the building though, they will become a ghost capable of willful invisibility and movement through solid objects. Furthermore, these properties will remain until the lease has expired. SCP-103 The Never Hungry Man SCP-103 appears to be an average human male in his mid-40s. He does not need to eat. His body anonymously produces all the necessary vitamins and minerals to keep him alive. There is an unknown entity in the subject's stomach and will attack anyone who attempts to open the stomach to learn more about it. SCP-104 The Lonely Ball SCP-104 is a glass sphere with an interior comprised of a very complex wooden design that seems to form something of a Rorschach test. All viewers see something different. When a person touches SCP-104, it will imprint on the subject and constantly attempt to be by their side. Only death or near-death situations of the imprinted subject will result in SCP-104 entering an unimprinted state. The object itself is indestructible, reforming after any attempts to destroy it. SCP-105 Iris SCP-105 is a female human of European descent. SCP-105-B is a Polaroid 1-step 600 camera manufactured in 1982. When SCP-105 takes a picture with SCP-105-B, she is able to reach through the photo into the actual present-day place of the photo and manipulate objects within arm's reach. Viewers describe a disembodied arm reaching out of thin air. SCP-106 The Old Man SCP-106 is an extra-dimensional being that has the ability to shift between our own dimension and his own pocket dimension. SCP-106 causes instantaneous erosion in any matter it touches and is considerably difficult to contain. SCP-106 will attempt to hunt any human subject who is wounded or incapacitated and pull them into his pocket dimension. SCP-107 The Turtle Shell SCP-107 resembles the top section of a hollow turtle shell. When a liquid is poured into SCP-107, it will be absorbed and then fall as rain within an area of at least 0.5 meters, but less than 10 kilometers from the object. The duration and intensity appear proportional to the amount of liquid placed in the shell. SCP-108 Extra-dimensional nasal cavity SCP-108 is accessible through the nostrils of Subject-1081, an African-American female. Endoscopic exploration has revealed a bunker system of Nazi German construction dedicated to the production and maintenance of World War II-era Messerschmitt Me-262 fighters. A large quantity of human remains have also been discovered in an advanced state of decay. The corpses appear to be Nazi officials, military personnel, Hitler Youth and civilians. SCP-109 Infinite Canteen SCP-109 is a standard issue United States Army Canteen circa 1899 with an unlimited supply of fresh drinking water. 
The water has demonstrated properties proving extremely beneficial to the growth and repair of organic life, including accelerated healing, increased energy levels, and recovery from severe illness. SCP-110 Subterranean City SCP-110 is a subterranean city that is considerably technologically advanced. The entire city is now in a state of disrepair, with all its inhabitants dead and in a heavy state of decay. An unknown entity that was contained within the city appears to have broken containment, dislodged the city causing it to fall 300 meters from its previous position, and caused irreparable damage to the life support systems. The attack of the entity and the dislodgement of the city was detected as seismic activity in the form of an earthquake. A number of classified SCP objects have also been recovered from the city. SCP-111 Dragon Snails SCP-111 are a creation of Dr. Wondertainment. In appearance they look like a hybrid between a snail and a fantasy dragon. They have snail-like bodies but also have horns, complex eyes, increased intelligence, a complex vertebrate-type jaw structure, they lay eggs, and shoot small jets of fire from their mouths during situations that cause them stress or anger. SCP-112 The Variable Coaster SCP-112 is a roller coaster in a state of disrepair in an abandoned theme park now in the possession of the SCP Foundation. When the car reaches the peak of the biggest drop, it will vanish and then reappear three minutes later. People on the car at the point of vanishing have noted vastly extended periods of time in comparison to the three minutes, from anywhere between several minutes to several months. They have also noted elements on the ride that do not exist on the ride proper, like bat wings, cobra rolls, and inclined loops. SCP-113 The Gender Switcher SCP-113 resembles a small polished piece of red jasper. When touched by an organism possessing sex chromosomes, the organism's physical characteristics associated with gender and biological sex are transformed, either reversed or altered. Second exposure to SCP-113 is ill-advised as there is a 25% chance of bone organ and tissue damage to the subjects, as well as partial or complete obliteration of the genitalia. Due to organ trauma and internal bleeding, this will likely result in death. SCP-114 Bringer of Conflict SCP-114 is a Pashtun woman of Afghani origin. She has the involuntary ability of fostering and escalating violent conflict between all individuals in her proximity. Subjects will become angry and aggressive over the smallest of subjects usually resulting in violence, none of which is directed at SCP-114. SCP-115 Miniature Dump Truck SCP-115 is a remote control plastic toy dump truck. Despite its appearance, composition and size, it weighs 90 tons and has the ability to lift and move loads of 120 tons. SCP-116 The Brittle Boy SCP-116 is a Caucasian male of around 9 years of age. 98% of its body and limbs are scarred and cauterized. Its bones are incredibly brittle, resulting in breaks from the slightest movements, and it possesses no joints. It has the ability to heal itself, restoring any broken bones in a matter of minutes. It does possess the ability to speak, but any conversation with the subject will result in the eventual mental degradation of any person it communicates with. SCP-117 Complete Multi-Tool SCP-117 is a multi-tool that has the ability to present any tool needed for any required job. These tools can be of seemingly anything, including but not limited to a screwdriver, a potato peeler, a phone charger, a pen, and even a laser capable of cutting through bulletproof glass. SCP-118 Nuclear Protist SCP-118 is a species of ocean-dwelling protista that is capable of assembling functional nuclear devices from materials present in ocean water. They will scour the ocean for elements to build the device and then detonate it once constructed. Due to their numbers and distribution, SCP-118 is impossible to contain, 90% of the devices have yielded between 20 to 35 kilotons. SCP-119 Timecrowave SCP-119 is a microwave oven that produces an unknown type of radiation. 
Instead of creating microwave radiation to cook food, the device instead accelerates time. The amount of time the object is accelerated by is proportional to the power level input and the amount of time within the oven. SCP-120 Teleporting Paddling Pool SCP-120 is an indestructible paddling pool with an unknown bright liquid held within it. The liquid cannot be manipulated, however it does sporadically ripple, suggesting it is not part of our universe. It has the ability to transport any human being to one of 11 places, including Greenland, the Gobi Desert, and various regions of space. SCP-121 Concrete Cradle SCP-121 is a town currently fenced off from the public. Prior to its evacuation and containment, it housed over 6,000 individuals. Periodically, buildings will detach from the foundations and ascend into the sky and remain there for a period ranging from 10 to 15 weeks before falling to the ground and being destroyed. The debris will then begin to group and coalesce into a sentient being that will begin to roam the town. Small or non-violent entities are to be monitored, large or aggressive entities are to be neutralized. SCP-122 – No More Monsters SCP-122 is a nightlight. So long as it is supplied with power, no anomalous phenomena will manifest. When unpowered, subjects within 500 meters of the item will become comatose as soon as they enter a REM sleep. Humanoid figures composed of a translucent black mass will then appear and attempt to gather all sleep aids in the area. As more people become comatose, the area of influence will expand. Following containment procedures, any of the entities breaking containment will become violent and attempt to kill any unaffected humans they come across. SCP-123 Contained Miniature Black Hole SCP-123 is a 1mm black sphere levitating within a grey geodesic sphere 65cm in diameter consisting of 60 triangles. The area between the triangles is empty, allowing the center to be seen and for objects to be passed through. SCP-123 exerts an increased gravitational pull. Within 3 meters, any loose or hanging objects or materials will begin to angle towards SCP-123. If an object passes the geodesic sphere, the object will quickly accelerate into the sphere and disappear. SCP-124 – Fertile Soil SCP-124 is a plot of soil that has the ability to grow any biological organism to its full potential in a relatively short amount of time. Any organisms grown within SCP-124 do not require any external resources such as water or sunlight, and all pests and insects are repelled. SCP-125 Contagious Reflection SCP-125 is a supposedly sentient black sphere that only exists on surfaces that have reflected properties such as mirrors, polished wood, and vinyl plastics. It can transfer to any reflective surface within line of sight, including human eyes. Once within a human eye, it will begin to replicate and transfer to other reflective surfaces. Prolonged exposure will cause blindness. SCP-126 – Invisible Friend SCP-126 is an invisible and intangible female who can only be identified via sound. She cannot manipulate solid matter such as doors or walls, however solid matter can move through the area her sound is coming from, such as a hand. She is talkative and shows an interest in talking with staff about art and philosophy. In rare cases, people talking with SCP-126 may begin to ignore basic survival instincts in order to prolong the conversation risking death by dehydration or starvation. SCP-127 – The Living Gun At face value, SCP-127 is an HK MP5K submachine gun. Aside from its outer shell, it is a living organism. Nevertheless, it performs in a manner similar to a usual firearm. However, instead of firing bullets, it fires teeth. Attempts to remove the magazine have proven impossible, and after firing 60 teeth, SCP-127 will need 3-5 to five days before it can replenish the teeth fired. SCP-128 – Kinetic Energy Entity SCP-128 is an immaterial entity with the ability to inhabit non-living objects and accelerate them to speeds on par with that of a machine gun. 
SCP-129 Progressive Fungal Infection SCP-129 is a group of fungal infections. The infection progresses through five stages, however most people are immune past stage 2. Anyone surpassing stage 2 will begin to undergo bodily alterations and usually die within a few weeks. The infection is contagious. SCP-130 Post Office SCP-130 is an abandoned but functioning and well-maintained post office. Any attempts to remove, open or damage any letters or parcels will result in that person disappearing. The person will reappear six days later in a comatose state within a parcel and they will have no recollection of what has happened to them or where they have been. SCP-131 The iPods SCP-131 are a pair of teardrop-shaped cyborg creatures that are allowed to wander the site at will. They are curious and enjoy human attention. They have an acute sense of danger and will attempt to prevent any situation where a person could come to harm. SCP-132 Broken Desert SCP-132 are a series of glass tetrahedrons that show various patches of various deserts from around the world. Sometimes desert animals will appear briefly such as scorpions. Sometimes grains of sand will be kicked up from desert winds. On one occasion where the tetrahedron was dropped on the floor, it shattered and the room experienced a sandstorm. SCP-133 Instant Hole SCP-133 are a set of 613 black circular pieces of waxy paper-like material 5 cm in diameter. When placed on a surface and rubbed, they will create a hole through to the other side of the surface they are on, up to a distance of 61 centimeters. They were discovered after a string of burglaries. SCP-134 Star-Eyed Child SCP-134 is an Asian girl with eyes that appear to look out onto an unknown region of space. Under normal lighting conditions, her eyes appear black. In darkness, however, within her eyes can be seen various stars, galaxies and constellations. SCP-135 Universal Carcinogen SCP-135 is a human female that promotes rapid uncontrolled cell growth up to a distance of 2.25 meters. She has full brain activity but has never moved from the fetal position she was found in. SCP-135's properties are carcinogenic and only a fraction of the recovery team is alive to date. SCP-136 Naked Doll SCP-136-1 is of variable appearance but generally manifests as a crude clay, wood, metal or cloth doll. When viewed for 20 minutes, SCP-136-2 will manifest and Dash-1 will vanish. SCP-136-2 will slowly approach the subject, laughing the entire time, before screaming in their face and vanishing. SCP-136-1 will then reappear. Subjects have reported severe night terrors lasting up to six months after exposure and hallucinations of SCP-136-2 resulting in comatose and death. SCP-137 – The Real Toy SCP-137 is an entity with the ability to possess a toy, gaining the physical properties, size and shape of whatever it represents. For example, a teddy bear will become an actual bear and behave accordingly. SCP-138 – The Ever-Living Man SCP-138 is a human male in excess of 4,000 years old and is supposedly immortal. Despite having eternal life, the being does not have eternal youth, nor can it repair from damage. It is in an extreme state of disrepair and decay and is both emaciated and wizened. All its organs, muscles and nervous system are heavily atrophied. A euthanasia and suicide attempts have proven ineffective. SCP-139 Possible Skull of the White Div SCP-139 is possibly the skull of an ancient demon that drives people mad and makes them kill each other. SCP-140 An Incomplete Chronicle SCP-140 is a black box that details an ancient cannibalistic civilization living in what is now Siberia. Any fluids that could be used for writing, especially human blood, that come into contact with the book will prompt the appearance of more information detailing the ancient civilization. 
SCP-141 Codex Damnatio SCP-141 is a book detailing various trials and cases dating back to Roman times. If someone writes a case within the book, it will become true. Evidence will suddenly appear and memories will be implanted into the relevant people. SCP-142 One-Armed Bandit SCP-142 is a betting machine. When an appropriately sized item is dropped into the input chute, it will become the bet. If you lose the game, then the item is gone for good. If you win, the item will be duplicated between 2 to 200 times. Exposure will become addictive. SCP-143 The Bladewood Grove SCP-143 is a plantation of 300 specimens of a unique type of tree that resemble cherry blossoms. The petals are hard and razor sharp, making them a hazard during high winds. The bark is incredibly strong and resistant to extreme temperatures, making it useful for applications in armour and weapons. SCP-144 Tibetan Rope to Heaven SCP-144 is a rope that extends from the top of a mountain up through the clouds and towards a currently yet to be explored satellite in geostationary orbit above the Earth, at an altitude of about 39 kilometres. Every year a monk climbs the rope and is never seen again. The other monks prophesize that one day all those who have climbed the rope will return bringing with them wisdom and enlightenment. SCP-145 Man Absorbing Phone SCP-145 is a phone that rings without pause until someone picks up the receiver. Listeners describe the sound of a panicked woman asking for help, while sounds of violence and torture can be heard in the background to a number of unknown people. If a person is not being directly viewed while answering the phone, they will vanish, and be transported to the location of the torture and become a new victim. SCP-146 Bronze Head of Shame SCP-146 is a hollow bronze head, once part of a statue or sculpture. Looking into the item's eyes will make the viewer recount situations of guilt or shame. Longer exposure will inhibit and increase the severity of the memories. After 60 minutes of exposure, the subject will retreat fully into these memories, become catatonic, and will not be able to regain consciousness. SCP-147 Anachronistic Television SCP-147 is a 1957 General Electric brand black and white television. When placed in an acceptable room, it will show broadcasts of various popular TV comedy shows from the 1950s. However, when modern day objects are brought into the local environment, it will show colour footage of beheadings, rape, executions and torture. Viewers will begin to vomit and may suffer a nervous breakdown. SCP-148 the Telekill Alloy SCP-148 is an extremely hard and resistant metal composed of a number of known and unknown elements. SCP-148 blocks or otherwise hinders extrasensory mind-affecting properties of living organisms in proximity to it. It has been used to help contain SCP-035's anomalous properties. SCP-149 The Blood Flies SCP-149 is a species of mosquito. Should they come into contact with humans, there is a 50-50 chance of becoming infected. The infection will convert human cells into larvae, where the mosquito spawn will mature. Once matured, they will exit through the eyes, nose, and mouth. SCP-150 Ship of Thesis SCP-150 is a species of louse that burrows into the skin. Once burrowed, it will begin to feed on the host's flesh and replace it with another fleshy substrate. A number of chemicals are introduced to prevent the body from rejecting the new tissue. Eggs will be deposited into the bloodstream and new instances of SCP-150 will begin to convert all the remaining limbs, nervous system and brain. Hosts report no pain or negativity and instead report positivity. Hosts remain in full control of their new limbs and show increased strength and maintain full mental function. SCP-151 The Painting SCP-151 is an oil painting from the perspective of someone underwater. Anyone viewing this painting will, within 24 hours, begin to experience laboured breathing as their lungs fill with water, ultimately resulting in their death. SCP-152 Book of Endings SCP-152 is a large hardbound book with leather bindings. 
It details various apocalyptic scenarios ultimately resulting in the extinction of humanity, a lot of focused on SCP objects. The book regularly updates with new apocalyptic scenarios. SCP-153 Drainworms SCP-153 is a species of roundworm with extremely acidic saliva and typically live in drains and sewers. They will work their way up shower or bathtub drains and dissolve the drain cover. When a human enters the bath or shower, SCP-153 will attack and consume the human before exiting back down the drain. SCP-154 Offensive Bracelets SCP-154 are a pair of standard bronze bracelets that can comfortably fit on the arm of any person. When the arm of the bracelet's on is extended and the other arm is pulled back, mocking the action of a bowstring, an incorporeal bow will appear. Releasing the bow will result in the bones of the subject's extended arm to be ejected forward at speeds of up to 300 meters per second. The process is extremely painful, however the lost bones will regenerate within a few minutes. SCP-155 Infinite Speed Computer SCP-155 is a complex electronic construct. When a program is executed on SCP-155, time will rapidly begin to increase within a small area of SCP-155, meaning that calculations that would usually take months or years to calculate are instead calculated in a few minutes. However, the longer SCP-155 is processing a calculation, a significant buildup of heat and radiation will occur. This heat and radiation will be outwardly ejected once the calculation is complete. SCP-156 Reanimating Pomegranate SCP-156 is a group of exactly 181 pomegranate arils that will regenerate if eaten, destroyed or spoiled. When ingested between the 21st of March and the 20th of September, the subject will die from an unknown cause on the 21st of September. The bodies will not decompose but instead begin to show signs of bruising and torture. The subject will resume life functions on the 21st of March before ceasing again on the 21st of September. The cycle will continue until the subject is terminated. SCP-157 Mimetic Predator SCP-157 is a microscopic animal that group together in a collection of millions to form a single amorphous mass that can crawl and climb. They will typically envelop their prey, usually insects and birds, and digest them with enzymes. When they encounter an animal too big to attack, such as a human, they will telepathically convince them to either consume the mass or in some way guarantee long-term exposure. Pain-mitigating chemicals are infused into the subject as they are slowly digested. SCP-158 Soul Extractor SCP-158 is a mechanical arm typical of such found in an automated factory with a pointed tridactyl claw at the end. When operational in the presence of a human, it will remove a gaseous material from the person, leaving them with no brain functions except those of the brainstem. The process can be reversed, and swapping one person's soul with another in a different body is possible. SCP-159 The Perfect Lock SCP-159 is a standard neon sign reading open. When displayed in the window of a building and disconnected from a standard power outlet, the building will become impenetrable and indestructible. SCP-160 Predator Drone SCP-160 appears to be an unmanned aerial vehicle. It displays the hunting instincts of a bird and will swoop down on rodents, impale them, and inject a corrosive substance to liquefy the organs to then be absorbed as a slurry. SCP-160 will not attack humans unless as an act of self-defense. SCP-161 Pinwheel of Doom SCP-161 is a product of the factory. When held, it presents energy beams. However, these beams are only observable to the bearer. When these beams are used to destroy something, the object will no longer have any effect on the bearer. Solid walls may be walked through, and people may be rendered unable to physically interact with the bearer. SCP-162 A Ball of Sharp SCP-162 is a mass of fish hooks, fish line, needles, scissors, and other sharp objects in a rough ball shape. Anyone touching it will become entangled in its mass and die as they slowly succumb to shock and blood loss. SCP-163 An Old Castaway 
SCP-163 is an alien that requires a very specific containment setup in order to survive. It can only openly exist unprotected within our atmosphere for an hour before displaying signs of illness. SCP-163 cannot openly communicate, but does enjoy painting landscapes of its homeworld. SCP-164 Squid Tumors SCP-164 is a strain of cancer that causes sarcoma-like tumors in host bodies. These will then mature into a species of squid that will continue to grow until the subject expires. Removed specimens are viable in marine conditions. In one case, a tumor grown within the uterus of a female subject was perceived as a fetus. The subject gave birth to a squid nine months later. SCP-165 The Creeping Hungry Sands of Tool SCP-165 is a species of parasitic mite numbering in the billions and possibly trillions of individual specimens. They will attach grains of sand to their backs, making them as a collective, indistinguishable from a standard sand dune. When they encounter a source of prey, they will converge on it as a swirling vortex. SCP-166 Teenage Succubus SCP-166 appears to be a female human in her late teens of average height and slender build. She possesses the unintentional property of causing all males who see her to attempt sexual contact. This causes SCP-166 significant distress, as she desires to follow a monastic life. When removed from her presence, there is a chance the male will become obsessed, leading to the requirement of amnestics. If the amnestics fail to work, terminating the afflicted male is the only way to ensure the safety of SCP-166. SCP-167 Infinite Labyrinth SCP-167 is a large cube with a door in the front. When entered, the interior dimensions match the external, however two more doors are present on the inside. Entering either of the doors leads to a copy of the same room, with another two more doors and so on and so on. As a result, it is easy to get lost within SCP-167. There are signs of previous exploration attempts, and at least one SCP staff member has been lost to the labyrinth. SCP-168 Sentient Calculator SCP-168 is a standard calculator that has the ability of sentience. It does not recognize life as a phenomenon and instead considers its existence from when it was able to start thinking. It insists on a well-lit containment room with a window it can look out of. SCP-169 The Leviathan SCP-169 is a dormant colossal arthropod measuring several thousand kilometers. The bloop sound has been attributed to the creature and its body makes up an entire set of uninhabited islands currently under Foundation control. SCP-170 A Tube of Superglue SCP-170 is a tube of superglue that displays two separate anomalous phenomena. When applied to a solid surface, another solid object may pass through the solid subject the glue has been applied to. However, within a third of a second after contact, the ability is nullified. At this point, both the solids will be attached to one another at the molecular level. SCP-171 Collective Brain Foam SCP-171 is a collective of fine tendrils composed of neurons, mucous glands, and muscle fibers. They create bubbles to give it the appearance of sea foam. Any who come into contact with the mass will find the tendrils burrowing into their bodies and attaching to their nervous system. They will become part of SCP-171 as a collective consciousness. SCP-172 The Gear Man SCP-172 outwardly takes the form of a human male dressed in 1860s attire. Internally, SCP-172 is a complex automaton possessing over 2 million moving parts. SCP-172 is powered by a mainspring, which is wound by a key in its possession. No locks are capable of containing SCP-172, and it is capable of upgrading any known technology with various clockwork systems. SCP-173 The Sculpture SCP-173 is a stone statue that can move when not being directly observed. It can move extremely fast and can cover several meters in the blink of an eye. SCP-173 is hostile and will kill anyone it comes into contact with by breaking their necks or by strangulation. SCP-174 Ventriloquist Dummy 
SCP-174 is a ventriloquist dummy that when placed on a person's hand, begins to recount stories of how it was mistreated or abandoned when it was young. People conversing with SCP-174 will begin to form an attachment to it, thinking of it as their baby, and will require amnestics to overcome this attachment. SCP-175 Treasure Map SCP-175 is an indestructible piece of yellowing parchment that changes its designs and form to cater to the person it is being held by. For example, for example, a crayon-drawn map when finding a box buried by a five-year-old. SCP-176 Observable Time Loop Outwardly, SCP-176 resembles an abandoned factory. When someone enters the observation room of the factory, they will see the factory in pristine condition, and an event will unfold. The viewer will see a number of researchers working on a device. Five seconds later, armed men will appear and shoot all the researchers. After 11 seconds, the device will flash and the event will repeat. SCP-177 Checkmate SCP-177 is a chessboard complete with all the components to play a game of chess. The black pieces move by themselves so a player can only play the white pieces. If the black team wins, they will do a victory dance. If the white team cheats, the board will hurtle at the player with the presumed intention to cause injury or death. SCP-178 3D Specs SCP-178 are a pair of 3D glasses with one blue and one red lens. When worn, a viewer will begin to see creatures in their immediate vicinity. If a person attempts to interact with these creatures, deep cuts and lacerations will begin to appear on the subject until they expire. SCP-179 Suel Susor SCP-179 is a female humanoid in Earth orbit composed of a matte black substance. She claims to be the sun's sister and speaks in monotone French. She will point at objects that pose a risk to human life, such as asteroids, spaceships, and incoming hostile alien life forms. SCP-180 Identity Thieving Hat SCP-180 appears as a hat or other form of headwear or hair accessory. When placed on the head of a person or animal, that subject's identity will be stolen. People viewing the subject will not be able to identify them except for basic features such as skin and eye colour. When the hat is placed on another subject, then the identity of the first subject will be imprinted on the second subject. SCP-181 Lucky SCP-181 is a former Class D but has the ability of being extremely lucky. He has survived several encounters with dangerous SCP objects that have proven fatal to other D-Class personnel, and has another ability where improbable events can happen around him that may prove fatal or dangerous to other personnel. SCP-182 Rider SCP-182 is a Caucasian male who has the ability to passively enter the minds of other people and perceive what they are seeing and hearing. It also has the ability to mentally transmit its voice into the subject's mind it has entered. SCP-183 Weaver SCP-183 is an invisible entity that creates a web of very fine monofilament wires. These wires are razor sharp and can cut through flesh, bone and body armor with ease. Any severed body parts will be consumed by SCP-183. SCP-183 will also periodically pluck the wires to create a complex and euthonic melody. SCP-184 The Architect SCP-184 is a small metallic object in the shape of a dodecahedron. When placed within a confined space, it will expand the inner dimensions exponentially. It will make copies of objects within the space as the space increases. However, the further the expansion progresses, the more distorted and peculiar the copies will become. SCP-185 the radio. SCP-185 is a Russian radio dating back to the Cold War. It features a crudely inbuilt screen and keypad. When a year is entered into the keypad, the radio will begin playing radio broadcasts from that time zone. In one experiment, the date of the birth of the universe was entered, which resulted in the unintentional neutralization of an SCP and the death of everyone within 200 meters. SCP-186 to end all wars. 
SCP-186 is the collective designation for a number of sophisticated and technologically advanced weapons used during an unrecorded battle between German and Russian forces in World War I. To this day, the technology is not understood and cannot be replicated. SCP-187 Double Vision SCP-187 is a Caucasian female who possesses a very unique ability. She has the ability to see anything in two different states at all times, what is and what will be. When she sees any person, she will see them alive and dead or decomposing simultaneously. SCP-188 The Craftsman A metallic cylinder that creates discrete manipulations in the local environment, such as scratching surfaces and shaping ambient materials such as dust. SCP-189 Hair Imitating Parasite SCP-189 is a relatively harmless species of ringworm. It works its way into a mammal's hair follicles, severs the actual hair, and feeds off the hair matrix. As they grow, their tail will protrude from the subject's skin. They will take on the subject's hair colour, and so are indistinguishable from regular hairs. SCP-190 A Prize Toy Box SCP-190 is a wooden toy box. When a child under the age of 10 opens the box, they will see a number of toys that they are free to remove and play with. When anyone over the age of 10 opens the box, they will see a number of different objects including marbles and chalk that cannot be removed. SCP-191 Cyborg Child SCP-191 is a young girl who has been extensively experimented on and altered. Many parts of her body, including certain limbs, bones and organs, have all been replaced with cybernetic parts. SCP-192 Flawless X-Ray Machine SCP-192 is the component of an X-Ray machine that appears to work backwards. It will create an X-Ray image of an injury that will then appear on the subject who was X-rayed. SCP-193 The Tissue Snail SCP-193 externally resembles a cardboard box of tissues. The folds of the box are complex and upon opening will reveal an unknown species of mollusk. The cardboard box is effectively the shell of the creature. SCP-194 Carrion Host SCP-194 are a subspecies of the common raven who will flock to humans with antisocial or introverted tendencies. Humans will begin to become attached to the birds and will start to consume feathers dropped by the ravens. The subject will then begin to slowly mutate into an SCP-194 instance. Subjects who survive the process will be indistinguishable from a regular SCP-194 specimen by the end of the transformation. SCP-195 – A Medicinal Whiskey SCP-195 is a bottle of whiskey that greatly inhibits violent tendencies and levels of aggression. Once the effects wear off, ulcers will begin to develop inside the subject while the skin and muscle systems will begin to degrade. Subjects usually expire within a month. SCP-196 Time Paradox SCP-196 is a middle-aged male who is the source of a complex paradox. The subject's old self was sent back into the past to break into an SCP facility and was terminated during the break-in. Simultaneously, his younger self also exists at another location prior to his recruitment into the SCP Foundation as SCP-196. If either the current SCP-196 or the younger self were to die before they can act out the events of the future which is also the past, it will cause a catastrophic paradox leading to a breakdown of continuity and the destruction of our timeline. SCP-197 The Greenhouse SCP-197 is a greenhouse that grows various plants that take on the characteristics of humans or other animals despite the lack of a brain or nervous system. SCP-198 Cup of Joe SCP-198 is a cup that when held will bond to the subject's hand at the molecular level. It will then fill with one or two of several substances including bile, mucus, urine, blood, etc. The subject will then undergo rapid dehydration. The only way a subject can receive nutrients or rehydrate themselves is to consume the contents of SCP-198. The process will not stop, nor the cup detach itself until the subject expires. 
SCP-199 Spy Ferns SCP-199 is a species of fern that will often develop bladders of hydrogen that will detach and begin to float in the air. They will often pop, and on occasion a male voice speaking in Mandarin can be heard speaking from within them. And that concludes SCPs 100 to 199 with a little bit easier on my voice this time, mainly due to the fact that there weren't any 001s to cover. Going into 2020, we have got a brilliant year ahead of us. More unknown SCPs, more custom stories, more tales, more 682, more 096, more When Day Breaks, more Dr. Bright, and more SCP summarized. Thank you all for being with me for 2019. Looking forward to another year. Massive thanks to all the patrons and the members for supporting me to gain all the many cool perks that they do. Be sure to go and check out the relevant pages. And thank you to Vents, Dr. Weger, Alexander, Sanchez, Hiffel, Exalted Galaxy, Andy98, Jet E Boy, General's Alert, JT Walker, SCP-106A, Rick Trexon, Mori Pasta Pizza and Sam B. Big thanks to Frank, Hunter Killer, Len Hox, Captain Core, Kibara and Montgomery, and huge thanks to Dr. Vulis, Viger, Kamana and Zanan. Thank you all for watching, happy new year to you all, and take care.